guys and welcome to Planazoid. If you're new to my channel, hey, how you doing? I pretty much talk about planning, organizing, DIYs, and maybe a little extra stuff here and there, blog stuff and other things that I just know in life. And if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying tuned and following my social media. By the way, follow my Instagram at Planazoid. And yeah, let's get started. So this video today in particular is not a planning video. Um, it's actually a piercing video. So um, I have different piercings that I wear and I had them for a while, so I'm pretty knowledgeable. So today's video is about the Medusa piercing, AKA the Filtrum piercing. Um, hopefully my camera is focused good enough, but it's this little cute, tiny thing in the middle of my face. That's what it is. It's basically pierced straight through the top um of I guess leak on top of my lip and yeah so I'm just here to give a few pros and cons about it um it's really not hard and actually it's a good piercing to have I think it's fun and I had mine for a little over a year and I love it so I'm gonna start with the cons first just to get that over with because you know cons are cons so the first con is I got my little notes here if done wrong it can be bad and what i mean is if they pierce it like lopsided on your face it won't look right or be symmetrical or for me my first experience getting a medusa piercing was a not good at all i went to my normal piercer that i normally go to and i asked for a medusa and instead of piercing it like straight through he pierced it vertical so it went through my lip and it hurt really bad and it was a cool piercing to have like it looks cool but it was not what I asked for and healing was just like terrible so make sure you go to a professional piercer and you know get what you asked for and make sure it gets pierced right because if not you can have problems with this piercing and may have to end up taking it out so uh, yeah that's the number one the second con is like it's on your face and with a lot of other piercings that's on your face it can be hard to hide depending on like what kind of job you have and what you do in life so um for the most part like i just get a flesh color like metal piercing to put in my face and it'll kind of look like a little mole or something so it's not that noticeable but i know in some places especially previous places that i worked they didn't want you to have one at all and they could still tell even if you had a flesh color one so definitely be careful with any type of facial piercing you get because some places might not allow it and they can be you know difficult to hide so the third con is swelling um for the most part the healing process is easy just you know keep it clean and everything but depending on like i guess your body or anatomy or whatever swelling could be like really bad and it could be difficult to deal with for me when i got it done the first time my lips swelled so bad but i think because he actually pierced it through my lip so this second time when I got this one done, it barely swelled and I was still able to talk normal and go to work and no one like noticed anything. So I think it just depends on the person, but for some people swelling can be a con, but luckily it's temporary and it goes away, especially with some ice. So the last con I have is teeth and gum erosion. I think also this depends on the anatomy and the person. But, you know, anytime you do get oral piercings, um, one of the things to always consider is that it may rest on your gums or your teeth and it can cause, you know, dental issues. This is not for everybody. And I haven't had any issues at all, but I know some people have and have to take it out. So I just thought, you know, I would, you know, bring awareness to this because that can happen with any type of oral piercing. So, on to the pros. Okay, so the first pro is that it's a pretty piercing to have and it's very simple. Like when I first had my piercings, I used to have like double nose piercings here and the septum here and I tried to do the Medusa here. It was like a lot going on. So um, after taking all that out and later on coming back to get this done, it's very pretty. It's just a nice little centerpiece on my face. It's just simple. 
So I really like that and it's fun when I change colors and sometimes it matches outfits or shine pretty in the light. It's just pretty. So it really stands out and it's simple. So I like that. The second pro is it's unisex. So men can wear it and women can wear it. I've seen men wear it and they look just as good as a woman wearing it. I honestly don't believe in, you know, certain piercings having like, you know, gender specific, you know. Um, at the end of the day, it depends on your anatomy, but men and women can wear it and I think both genders look good with it, so yeah. And the last pro I have is that healing is easy. Like all you have to do is pretty much clean it two to three times a day and as far as like the inside, like under my lip, I just make sure I brush my teeth really good and use mouthwash and I keep it clean. And I feel like it varies from person to person because I noticed like I just started working out. So the more I work out, the more it gets, you know, gunky and I have to clean it more. But, you know, it's not a hassle. It's really simple. Grab a Q-tip, just clean around it with the sea salt solution, maybe some soap and, you know, you're good to go. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like when I tell you this piercing is so easy to have and I actually love this piercing. Like, I saw someone else at one of my old jobs with it, and I thought I would look good with it, so I got it, and here I am. And I don't regret it at all. Now, I'm surprised that the first time I got it done didn't, like, deter me from it, because <laughs> when I tell you the experience was not good at all, like, it was not good. And when I went to work the next day, I had coworkers asking me, what, are you allergic to fish or something? Did you eat something crazy? And I, I didn't know how to answer because that was just a random question, number one. And number two, I could barely talk and I look crazy. But anyways, uh, just make sure you go to a professional piercer and make sure they're knowledgeable about it. And make sure you have the right type of jewelry because type of jewelry matters. Like the type of metal that you start with matters. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, simple. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm thinking about doing more piercing videos because I do have a couple of other piercings that I would like to share and give pros and cons about too. And I know like piercings in general are just like super popular. So I think that'll be, you know, a fun asset to my channel. But anyways, like, subscribe for more content. And make sure you follow my Instagram page because that's where I post everything the most and that's the social media that I pretty much use like every day compared to all the other ones. And... Yeah, that's it. <laughs>